this guy was always in my lodge to sleep with me. That's the only thing he knows how to do. Only to knock. In that house, my so-called husband, the only thing he knows how to do is to just sleep with me from morning to night. Since I went to that house, I have no, no rest, no peace. Only to sleep with me from morning to night. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nene Baby. So, guys, today, I have this young... <laughs> I have this young lady here. Yeah, don't mind me. Oh. Guys, as you can see, she's... Uh, she's um, Anyway, let's face the business that brought us here. I have a uh, this young lady here. She contacted me. She has been on my DM. In fact, when I mean somebody has been disturbing me, she has been disturbing me. But today, please, I want her to say her story by herself. People should listen and hear what is happening in this life. And also, if you have any advice for her, please, advise her like your own daughter. She needs our love. She needs us to advise her, please. Okay, no mention your name. Like I told you, just go straight with your story, yeah? Okay, good day, everybody. I'm here today to just share my story because I've been through hell, through think and thing. My problem started after I finished secondary school, when I met this guy. This guy is just like three years older than me. Although he looks, he has a very big stature. He looks like someone that's about 30 years old, but he's just three years older than me. I met this guy and he has been disturbing me. He has been in my DMs. He has been pushing me all about, disturbing me that he likes me and that he wants us to date. So after all the persuasion, after everything, when we started dating, I finally agreed to start dating him. And we started dating. We were in a relationship. When we were in a relationship, I told him I wanted to continue my education. And he agreed with it. So that year, I wrote JAM and I got admission. When I got admission, it was my parents that was taking care of me, paying all my bills, sorting my bills. And then I wanted to get a hostel. He now advised me that I should get a lodge off campus. I should get a house off campus. I should not be in a hostel because hostel life is not comfortable. He wanted me to be comfortable. So he asked me to stay off campus. I didn't know he had another motive, an ulterior motive to why he wanted me to stay off campus. Then I explained to him that we are not finan uh, financially capable to pay for houses off campus because the houses off campus were expensive that what we could afford was hostel then he now said he's going to assist me and give me the remaining money that i'll be that i'll be needing to pay for the house that is off campus then after the explanation from him i finally agreed and got a self-contained that i can be staying in after i got the self-contained he furnished it for me. The house was okay, so I can be comfortable. So, in that my first semester, this guy was always in my lodge. He will never ever, he will never ever leave. He will just come, every time he comes, he can never just stay there for one day and go. He will stay there for days. And in that my year one, my first semester, I was not serious at all because of the distractions I was getting from him. All my exams, all my classes, my assignments, my tests, everything. I just had a very, very bad semester. When my exam results came, I failed. Uh, after seeing the way I failed, I just sat down and thought and looked at my life. And I reasoned why I went to school in the first place. It's not for a relationship. Then I saw that since my results were bad, I just knew that I had to sit up and I had to, and I had to rearrange my life. Meanwhile, in that first semester, when he's always coming to my house, the only thing he knows how to do is just to lash. It's just to sleep. Sleep from morning to night. Sleeping around. To sleep with me. That's the only thing he knows how to do. From morning to night, that's the only thing he knows how to do. Only to knock. So, I've already complained to him several because... Because I'm not comfortable with the idea that that's the only thing that that is the only thing that he brings to the relationship. Because if he's in a relationship, he just thinks that that's the main reason why he should be in a relationship. Only to just sleep only with you. Sleep with Have me. fun with Have you. Have fun with me. Oh, wow. And it's not that as if he's doing it once in a while or his own is just steadily, steadily and regularly. 
when I complained to him, he was threatening me that he's going to leave the relationship and go and get it outside. I mean, I don't even know if it's Juju that they used to hold me in that position or whether it's the love that I had for him that made me to just stay in that position. And I was not able to do anything. So after everything, I, I spoke to myself that in second semester, I'm going to know how I'm going to move forward in that relationship. Then in the second semester, by the time I could rearrange my life, I found out that I was already pregnant. And when I told him about it, he agreed and was happy about the pregnancy self. Then he told his mother. I was happy that he agreed about the pregnancy and he did not deny the child. I was happy, even though I was not happy that I was pregnant in that, in that moment. Then he told his mother and his mother asked him to bring me to her if he loves me. That if he likes me, that I should bring, I should come, I should come to meet her. The mother then, of the guy. Yes, the mother of the guy. Okay, come, come close. Okay, so when I went to meet, we went to meet the mother. Then she, she and the son, they went to meet my family, and that's when they paid for my bride price. And that was how I started living with them. After I finished my second semester, my parents and my family they just removed their hand from everything that concerns my schooling my bills taking care of me since they already ha I already have a new family since I'm already in a marriage they feel like they should concentrate better on my younger ones so they just abandoned me just like that so in that house my so-called husband the only thing he knows how to do is to just sleep with me from morning to night since I went to that house I have no no rest no peace only to sleep with me from morning to night, day to day. That's the only thing he knows how to do. I didn't even know he does not have a job. He was just depending on his mother. And now me, I don't have anything I'm doing. I'm pregnant. I was pregnant with a child. I didn't have any work that I was doing. No way for me to further my education because his mother, obviously, she did not agree to fund my education. My you, parents, did not, you did not uh, uh, follow your education again? I didn't follow my education. After the year one? I had to drop out because there was no source of income that I could, I could use to further my education. And when I spoke with him about it, <clears throat> when I spoke with him about it, he told me if my parents, they cannot assist in furthering the education, there's nothing he can do that. I should not put such pressure on him. I should not put such load on him that I cannot further the education that that is not his responsibility. Imagine, Even he's your husband. He's still telling you to go and tell your parents to further my education. That is the life I, I faced. So, with the mother too, the mother too, obviously, she did not agree to further my education. The food we are eating every day is the mother that is providing everything. Because me, I don't have anything I'm doing. I've not found anything to do yet. And my so-called husband too does not have anything he's doing. He's also depending on his own mother. The mother will, when the mother finds food for us, because she's a businesswoman, she finds food for us, we eat every day. Him, after he eats, he sleeps with me and he goes out to where I don't know. So we just with friends, watch football, just go out and be a new That's the only thing he knows how to do. Since I moved into that house, the only thing my husband knows how to do is to sleep with me all the time. And in that course of action, I got pregnant with my second child. And this, and my first child is not even up to six months. It's just clocking six months when I got when I found out that I was pregnant with the second child. I was so devastated. I did not know what to do because no source of income. Putting all those children on the mother-in-law or my mother-in-law, there's nothing I, I could do. And him too is not even concerned. It does not, I just feel like a housewife there, a house help. In fact, not even a housewife because. I'm done doing all the chores. I don't have any work to do. As if I'm just a house help that is just there to just be giving birth. This is not the future I plan for myself. This is not the life I plan so for myself. So you have two children now? Now I have two children with no source of income. My so-called husband is not even bringing anything in the house, not doing anything. We are living, we are still living in his mother's house. I'm not doing anything. So I really need advice because I don't want to stay in that house now and get pregnant for the third child because I see that this is not going anywhere. This is not the future I planned for myself. I never ever saw myself. I never ever saw myself in this kind of situation. So I'm really, really yielding for help, for advice. I need the mothers in the house to advise me because I really don't know where to go. 
And if I say I should leave, I should leave. I don't know where to start from. If I should leave, if I should leave now. I don't know where to start from. And I don't want to stay now and get pregnant for the third child. Because that is not what I came to this world to do. I don't come to this world to just be giving birth to children. So I really Your mother, Uncle, advice. did you tell your parents about this? I, then my, my mom came for the omugo of my, of my second child. I spoke to her about it. She was telling me that since I put myself in this situation, I have to just dance to the tune of the music I played. She just said I have to just face... I have to face it since I've put myself in that situation. She did not give me any reasonable advice. The only advice was I should just stay in my marriage. Like there's nothing she can do and there's nothing I can do also. So that's why I decided to come out to this platform to share my story. If I can get any advice, I don't know what to do. Because if I leave the marriage now, I don't know where, I don't even have anybody to look up to now or to run to since I don't have any anything I'm doing now. But what exactly do you want to do? Come close. What exactly do you want to do? You want to leave the marriage? I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. I don't want to be in the marriage anymore. Hmm. Okay, guys. Let me just uh, say small something. Because this lady, we have been here. She's a very young lady. She finished secondary school so early. And immediately she finished secondary school. Now she starts to do boyfriend. The boyfriend, where should they do? That one self na mommy boy. The guy no get any single thing. In fact, the guy never even see life at all. Before you know it, pia 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 bele don't enter. As bele enter, the guy, the guy mother marry you. No, they talk say the guy marry you. The guy, the guy mother marry her. And she's there. Because she did. Just in her house. I'm just in her house. You didn't even. She didn't even. Doesn't even have a house. Eh? He doesn't, doesn't have, have home. Does even. He doesn't even behave as if he has a family at all. Because the only thing he does is just sleep, sleep with me, and leave the house, go out after eating, come back, eat, sleep, repeating that same cycle all about and every day. That's the only thing. And does. this is the. This is how you do not go to school again. And you know some parents are very mean. Eh? I don't. I don't even blame your parents too, because so even if, if if it's my parents, the same thing they will tell you. If you choose to marry, marry. If you want to go to school, go to school. So you cannot beg your parents now to at least go back to school. You are still very young. You know, they, uh, whenever they say something, they they don't just go back on their word. I've tried my best. Tried your mom did not want to listen to you. She doesn't want to. Even my mom that I thought your mother-in-law. What is she to. doing? Nothing concerned my mother in law. The only thing she does is to provide food. Now she they provide food. Now she they provide hey, food. Hey, your husband know they do anything. They provide the food happily served because the hus the husband uh, my husband is a only child, the only son. Okay. So that's the, the father of your husband in You know you know gets papa. She's a single mother. Okay, she's a single mother. Yes, she's a single mother. She just welcome you in the house. She just in fact now she now she marry me. If that's how I put it, because the man is not always there in the house. So. The the husband is not always hey. at home. The guy I just feel like I'm a, I'm a house help in that house. And now you have to. I have to, and I don't want to have the third one now. I have to. Hey. Well, I know they finish you. <laughs> Are you sure so you know go go back to your mother, beg your mom. You need future. This is not the future you're supposed to be in now. You need to plan yourself. <laughs> You are still very young. How old are you? I'm just 20 years old. I'm yeah. just 20 years old. And I've not achieved anything in this life. All the while I've been in the house, I've not achieved anything. Only to just give birth. Mm. Now, wow. This guy is not doing anything. Hey. And he's not even behaving like someone that wants to do anything. That, or someone that has future or plans. He does not even behave like someone. Your that, dad doesn't listen to your mom, uncle. Okay? That is worse. Your dad is worse. It's worse. Hey God, what are you going to do now? If my mom was not there, you would have even made me myself. But you ah, you made a mistake. You made a mistake. mistake. Your parents said you should go and pay for hostel. Why did you go and pay for off camp? That's the only way this guy gets you. Had it been you are inside the hostel, he will not have chance to be coming all the time, all the time. Do you get to come to your lodge, spend time, spend days? If you are inside the hostel, he can't enter girls' hostel like that and sleep over now. So he knows the reason why he says you should go and pay for off camp. And that paying for you is the beginning of this your problem now. And you accepted it. He paid, furnished it. So he will be coming there anytime to do it whenever he wants. And you did not even listen. As in, you didn't even listen it that way. There is juju for me. No juju. 
You don't know use any juju. The mistake has been done. You didn't reason it that way, no juju. Why can I leave juju by the side? So you are thinking of way out. What are you going to do now? Please, I'm seeking for your advice. Help me in any way you can. Any advice, please. I really need to get out of this situation. And you don't have any handwork? I don't have. You don't have? Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, I don't even know what to do. Guys, please help me out. What will I tell her? What will she do? Because had it been her parents, we welcome her now. I know they tell people to leave their marriage, but this one no fool at all. She's very young, and the, the, the guy himself did not send. According to what she told me before this video, the guy will leave the house in the morning, coming back. In fact, before this guy leaves the house, eh? The guy would have, you know, give her like three rounds of knocking. Then after the three rounds, the guy will eat, bath, leave the house. Without, have, as in, without any good reason, without even doing any work, the guy is not thinking of how to make the marriage work. In the night, the, the guy will come back, eat. The mama don't bring money. You Nobody know, say the guy, they, uh, they drop one naira or two naira for house. Now the mother, they bring money. Now, wow. So, no hope at all. You want to say something? Yes. Okay. I feel like he even learned this bad behavior from the mother because the mother did not even, I don't think she brought him up well. Because if sometimes the woman, they she just is to answer call in the house, she will just be answering call with your other young, young guys in the, in the parlor. The she mother, just, they answer the, young guys' the call. The mother, oh, she could, they laugh, they throw a leg, they, they open, but they laugh. Hmm. She should answer call. To this young, like young mother, guys. like son. But now you do yourself now. Hope you enter there. But let's see, and if your parents can accept you, just try and go back first and, you know, repackage your life. Try and go back first. If your parents have money, they should send you back to school. I know it's not easy. We're two children now. You didn't recognize this thing when you have one. At least it would have been better. But now they are, you have two children. Anyway, it's not bad. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, please, let's advise her. Help me advise her, please. She will be in the comment section to read people's comments. Thanks for watching this video and help me share this video as well.